Hey everyone, this is Simka here from the Fusing Shop. And today we're gonna to make this cool little uh, shot glass out of an old beer bottle. So let's go ahead and get started. First step we need is an old beer bottle. So here we go, got this old one ready to go. And you're gonna need a bottle cutter. And these are relatively easy to use. You're going to um, see how big you first want to make your shot glass. We're going to adjust our cutter to cut the size glass that we want to make. So I'm going to put this on here and move my cutter into position where I want the glass to cut. Uh, right about there looks good. Tighten up the clamp. Next, you want to mark. It has a line here. You just mark a little line on your bottle so you know when you made a full 360 degree turn. And let's go ahead and get this cut. So And you see we have a very nice line right here. I'm not sure if you can see, but let's see if we can get that in focus. There it is. Now you can see it. This line right here is where we're going to break the bottle. And to break it, I'm going to take you guys over to the sink. So I'll be back in one second. Welcome to my amazingly gross sink. So um, I have a kettle of hot water and I'm going to tip the bottle on its side. And pretty much we're going to do what's called shocking the glass. So I'm going to pour the hot water, then hit it with cold water, then pour the hot water and hit it with cold water until this pops off. And just pour that hot water on and rotate it. Now we're going to hit it with the cold water. Right along that line. Again, take my hot water. And I can hear it starting to break. cold again. Sometimes you give it a tap and it comes off. Nope, not yet. Just keep doing it until it breaks. It will eventually break. There we go. Beautiful. Sometimes you get a clean, a super clean, amazingly straight line, and sometimes you get this. So this we're going to take out to the polishing machine, which we'll go out to right now, and we'll get this flattened out and uh, smooth it out so you can actually drink from this. Right now it's extremely sharp. I'm not even going to touch it because I don't want to get a cut. And yeah, so let's head out to the polishing machine. Here's our polishing machine. And pretty much what this is going to do is take this extremely jagged piece right here and we're just going to grind it off until it's nice and flat like we see in this one. So again, this is all like jagged and unevenly broken. 
and we're gonna take our disc and grind it down to a nice smooth finish. I figured while we're doing this, I also did this wine bottle that I'm making into a cup and I'll go ahead and grind this uh, large, oops, don't wanna be giving you the finger. Uh, I'll grind this large chunk down so this is nice and fine. You can see most of this is cut nice and smooth except for that one chunk and we're just gonna go ahead and grind that down. Okay, whenever you're grinding glass, you always use water because you don't want those glass shards getting in the air. They are not good to breathe in and are extremely dangerous for lungs. So we always make sure we use enough water to keep it safe. Now, the way you hold this cup, you're gonna hold this cup with two hands. From the bottom view, we're gonna have two hands on this cup. This way it doesn't fly away from us. This spins extremely fast and is extremely slippery because of the water and you can lose your grip and the glass can go flying out of your hands. Uh, I will get a pair of safety goggles just in case. Anything happens, don't want to get hit in the face with a piece of glass. Okay, and then here we go. Be nice and gentle. You don't want to crack your piece while you're doing this. For this class, I'm using a 270 grit. You could use a, a rougher grit, but this is, plate is pretty new, so it should take off the amount we need pretty quickly. I like to go from the middle of the disc, the outside, to use up the whole grinding surface. Make sure I put nice even pressure. And see how we're doing. Okay, we're almost there. A little bit more. Be ready to move on to the next the next step all right and that is looking pretty good so what i'm going to do for the wine bottle this is a thicker glass oh, let me just close this off for a second So this glass is much thicker and also this chunk is much bigger. So I'm going to switch to a rougher grit. I'm going to go with, let me see what I have on the, on the shelf here. Going with the 100 grit disc. Again, put our water on, get the disc nice and wet. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna hold both sides nice and tight and just slowly grind that off. And that is looking pretty good. water. Next step is you go to a finer disc. So we're going to step this down, step this up, I should say, to our resin pre-polished disc. Now this disc removes very little glass and it'll get us a nice polish. This is extremely rough. You can see the streaks of glass in here, little streaks that the uh, that the 
that the first disc left. Uh, actually, here's a great example. Here is our finished glass, and this is like a mirror finish, this rim. And this one has an extremely rough, chalky looking finish to it. So this disc is gonna help us get that shiny finish. And then we use one more to get that mirror finish. Use a nice even pressure, this way you don't get your glass all crooked. And that is looking really good. I might give it one more pass on here. I'm gonna let that dry and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. In the meanwhile, let's get our wine bottle out and get that on here. Start getting this polished up. Okay, so now the last part that we have to do is the polishing so we get that mirror finish on the edge. But actually, I just remembered one thing I forgot to do. And I make mistakes just like everybody else. So let's take out our demo one. Now this one has a small little chamfer here this way you don't cut your lip when you're drinking from it. So I'm gonna add this little chamfer to the outside. Pretty much I'm just gonna angle the glass like this and go around, rotate the cup on the, pot, on the uh, grinding disc and take off that sharp edge. So just bear with me one quick second while I go ahead and do that. And then we'll... Uh... Oh, going in the wrong direction here. That looks nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with my wine glass too, my uh, wine bottle. And that's just to take that sharp edge off the, uh, the cup. The nicer looks really nice. Let me see if I could show it to you. It's hard to see when it's wet, but there is a small bevel. And now we're going to our polishing disc. There it is. I'm gonna start with the water. This we don't need much water for. We're just gonna let this soak up as much water as we can. So let, let that run for a minute. I'm gonna get the polishing compound. Uh, where's my compound? There it is. Here's my compound bucket. 
polishing compound. Let's start the machine. And we're gonna turn this water down to just a little bubble. The way we apply the compound is pretty, pretty simple. Take your sponge and just smush that compound out. All right, let's get our piece and start polishing. And hold on very tight because this wheel is very slippery. Polishing that bevel now. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a minute while I do my other cup. And get this nice and shined up. And there's the polished rim. I don't know if you can tell, but that is extremely shiny. Let me just unplug that pump. Here's our two finished projects. Amazing. So much fun. The only step left to do now, once you have your polished glass, is to add something to the bottom so you could use it to hold your shot in. Uh, what I've done is I just use the bottle cap from the bottle itself, and this is, works amazing. You just screw it on, and it's done. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.